and we're back with some more RimWorld. Today, today is all going to be about expansion. We want to start claiming this area here. Just claim it all. In fact, I think we'll start small. We'll claim this area here first, and then we'll probably claim all of that second. We have enough bricks that I think we can do a decent job of starting the first fridge. We need a second one. This one's kind of full, and I'd like to have a second fridge slash cooking area, just in case anything happens to that one. Always good to have a backup. Um... Yes, we also have had a few things happen since the last time. One is this dropped in, which, yes, we're going to have to deal with that at some point. It's 15 centipedes, though, and it's shipped defoliator that is slowly spreading out. But I think we'll leave that for a bit. I'd prefer to have as many people as possible for the kill box before we invite them in. As well as that, there was an inspired recruitment that went around, so we, we hired two new people. And there's a few berserks, an ambrosia sprout that happened over here in the middle of the fire and has taken care of itself. And our newest recruits. So, let's have a quick look at our first one over here. They're an underground or tough nudist. Please welcome Brambleseed. You could also call that Bramblest, but Bramblest doesn't... Mm, mm, no, yeah, Brambleseed we're going with. Uh, so, Brambleseed here, underground or tough nudist. The undergrounder is great because that will go with their crafting. I think we turned them into a dedicated crafter. The tough and nudist, well, yes, yeah, well, if they're spending all their time indoors, you won't even need to give them clothing. Though for the time being, they are going to be clothed up. It just, um, constrained clothes is only a minus three, so that nudist thing is actually not that bad. I used to avoid it in the past, but constrained clothes is actually pretty minor. A minus three, no matter how much clothing they're wearing. Yeah, we'll take that. And then we have our other recruit, number 29, Frederick Hartman. Frederick? I think that's Frederick. Yeah, but Frederick here, annoying voice and greedy. Thankfully, no medical problems. With animal and artistic as basically their only options, I think we're going with animals and hunting. We're not going to stick them on artistic. We've already got pseudonym on that. And pseudonym over here is, they've got a burning passion for it, so we can leave them on it all day, every day. Though, yeah, I think we'll just put them on animals and then just let them run around the place doing cleaning and things like that. The quests on this difficulty level are just truly amazing. This is an aerial assault. Uh, they want 25 soldiers to go attack a pirate base of 38 pirates. Now, don't get me wrong, the thoughts of flying in 25 people to get involved in a massive fight sounds awesome. The problem is we only have 28 people, which means we don't need to be leaving three people behind to mind the entire base. Um, we still have like 11 prisoners. We would be completely outnumbered by the prisoners. That's how, how lopsided it'd be. I don't know, maybe I need to do something to the quest to change them, because I'd love to do more quests. It's just, most of them are just incredibly dangerous to look at, or just, they're, they're not possible. Well, Ransom the Blind just went nuts. Um, one second. Yep, little quick zap. Ooh, they get catharsis out of that. Ooh, I thought if you used Word of Serenity on someone who had a mental break, it didn't actually give them catharsis. But no, that that makes things so much handier. I'm going to use that so much more then. And uh, that also means we're going to have to pick up... That's a level four spell. Hmm. What I've been doing on the side is I've been getting everyone, well... I took the three si Silent New Reformers that we had and I gave one level to each person. Well, to three random people. Uh, the reason being is, well, we were kind of looking for one of the abilities, Word of Trust. Word of Trust is a level one spell and it allows you to reduce the resistance of a prisoner. So I figure if we just spam everyone with one level in Silent New Reformer and if they get the, the one we're looking for, great. If they don't, we just turn off the Psy Focus medication. And that means about one out of every five people should have the ability and that should really speed up, drastically speed up recruitment for when we need it. For our next recruit today, we have got number 30? Yeah, we're up to 30 recruits at this point. I'm really liking that. Say hello to Sonico. Sonico here, though, is very interesting. They're an ascetic. Okay, they're also a psychopath and abrasive, but they're an ascetic, which means it'd be good to get them friendly with the Empire. Because we can give them a whole bunch of titles, and because they're an aesthetic, they won't really need a decent throne room or a good bedroom. The bedroom is the one I don't want to build. We, we're, we've got a lot of space, but I don't know if we've got enough space for 400 people, so the less space we have to spend, the better. Plus, they have mad social skills. Look at that. 16 social? They'll be an excellent at giving speeches and things like that. Oh, I'm trying to imagine a speech with 300 people in it. Yeah, never mind, never mind. All right, so I think the plans for them will be, yeah, medical, wardening, and then maybe cooking? Hmm. Yeah, medical warning and cooking. We already have loads of intellectual. Next up, Randy's glorious gift is a mech hive dropping right on top of us because we haven't had enough mechs. Now, uh, we've dealt with this sort of thing before and... Where are you going? Hauling wood stockpile. No, no, no animals. All right, we should be able to lock this up. Come on. Okay, that's that done. And that's that. 
Oh wait, no. Meant to be closed. No one's allowed through there, and no one's allowed through there. No, 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 close the door, close the door, close the door. Yes, fine. No centipedes? I'm kind of getting shocked at the lack of centipedes that fall on top of us. I don't know, and oh, they're going to kill the statues and stuff. Okay, don't damage the doors. Stop, stop, stop hitting the doors. Go away, go away. Get out of here, bolt. And oh my god, that's going to be such a mess. We have to tidy up. All right, the moment they're all into the tunnel, we'll just uh, get a bunch of people in here and we'll surround them and shoot them. Oh, come on, not the... The marble shelf as well, that's just being... Yeah, that's just being mean at that point. You know what, uh, I think we'll send in a few people early. Let me just make sure everyone's zones are set. All right, go, 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 go. Uh, hopefully this will drag it away. Yeah, you know what, that is fine. The rest of those are going to turn around in a minute. No, keep deploying, keep deploying. I'll have the rest in here in a second. Ooh, that was risky. It did get off one shot, but then it died. That's exactly what we wanted. Stop shooting. Kill it instantly. Don't let it shoot. We shoot, it doesn't shoot. That's... Uh, fine. Uh, let's send someone out there to close the door. I will... Do you need to just turn around? Come on, come back. Yep, they're yo-yoing. I... Mm, get me... You. Bramble seed. Get over here. I want you to go close that door for me. No, you can't actually get there. Well, go here. Go there. We'll get you to close the door in a second. We're going to lock them in, and then they'll have no choice but to come kill us. Uh, this should work out to be okay. Just... Ow. Rachel, Matt, how you doing? Okay, scratch scare? Wait, no, who got shot there? And why is Alex here? Alex doesn't have any abilities that are going to help us. Uh, actually... What the hell just happened? Oh, yeah, there was a whole roof there, so when that uh, tile went, the whole roof collapsed on top of them. That's actually pretty handy. You know what, Rachel? Do a another one right there. Perfect, let them fight it out amongst themselves. That actually worked out really well. Nice, okay, we'll just go wipe out the last of them and make sure no one's too injured. It's actually, what, 63 plasteel? Is it mods giving me that? I don't remember them bringing that much plasteel before. I, I always thought it was the simple sidearms mod that was allowing that. Oh, another prisoner's resistance has broken. Recruitment will begin shortly. That is good news. Nope, carried all of that out of there in time to clean this mess up replace what was lost at the same time we want to finish this in here i just realized if anything starts attacking those from the rear that would be awkward so yeah that'd be a loss of an awful lot of components this is going to be our second refrigeration unit it's already kicked in it's at what minus 11 in there this should double our storage which we don't need right now because it's too cold outside to grow food uh, reason being we're in the middle of a volcanic winter yeah how long has that been going on again 15 days, 15 days, Randy. It's only 15 days, so not, not too bad so far, I suppose. Before we can get further into the day, it's time for another recruit, because they just don't stop coming. Uh, for number 31, we've got Quantum Zari. Zari? Zari. I'm going to go with Zari. Quantum Zari for now. They're a trigger-happy psychopath, which is always a good blend, and they're a gourmand. Mm, that, that could cause problems later on, but... Medical, crafting, and planting. I think I'm going to go straight medical and plants. Just, we need more planters just to take care of the enormous amount of fields we've got. And medical, because it's always good. 7.5 melee damage, and it actually has a little bit of armor penetration. This is better than fists, I suppose. And it doesn't take up a weapon slot or anything. Mm, I still, I don't think I'd be bothered making ev giving everyone venom fangs, though. That would take me too much effort. Ooh, we've got a couple of things to do, then we've got to take care of that. That's going to be... Well, the more people we have, the more guns we can put on it. Oh, and finally we finished advanced fabrication. That means we can fabricate advanced components. That's, that's good. I'm going to move the entire production facility to somewhere else. And now that we've got advanced components, that pretty much gets rid of, well, all of the bottlenecks. Now we can just backfill all the good stuff. Power, batteries. Yeah, we're going to go straight for geothermal. We've already got one down here that we can tap into. And we've got another one over here we're going to be tapping into soon enough. And then I think there's a third one up somewhere. There's about six or seven. There's several geothermal vents on this site. All the power will be great. Right now, though, I want to finish this so we have our second kitchen area. Then I want to move our workshop. Our workshop, I don't want it here. I want it in here, in between our two main storage areas. Uh, that means we're going to have to move the mortars probably over here. And then I think this we're going to have to make a we're going to have to make a dedicated science area. And I'll probably put in four to five science areas. Plus the outside of it will be covered in scanners. We'll be losing lots and lots of scanners. We've even found a second batch of steel over here. Though I still need to get this one up and running. We're currently building a drill here so we can pull steel out of the ground. Though right now, 
steel's not the biggest issue considering the amount of, sh of, sl of steel slag just falling out of the sky for us to recycle. Well, that's a punch in the face if ever I saw one. A quest is active. A quest has just become active. We didn't actually accept anything. It just happened. Here's a psychic suppressor. No, no choice in it showing up or not. It just happened. We, we have now got to deal with a psychic suppressor that is nearby suppressing all the males in the area. So all of our males now are working at 50% uh, consciousness, which means, well, that's bad. 50% consciousness means 50% of everything. Their aiming, their movement, even eating, mo everything is just through the floor. They're going to suck at everything. Now, thankfully, we did that massive recruitment drive of females recently. However, it turns out that was not as successful as I was thinking. Most of the recruits we hired, it seems, were not, most of the survivors were not women. We had five to begin with. Uh, so that means we got three extra women out of all the people we've hired since that three of them were women. In fact, there's still six of them left in the recruitment area. And there's only one. How many prisoners left? There's nine prisoners left and six of them are... It's fine. What we are going to do is we are going to make a caravan with every single woman we have. Uh, what's their shooting skills? Oh, God. Let's hope their shooting skills are not terrible. Please don't be terrible. Please don't be terrible. Please don't be... Okay, it could be worse. We've got some at least some decent shooters, and we're going to go pick a fight with a mech cluster. Oh, this is going to go badly. I know this is going to go badly. The annoying part about putting together the caravan is you can't sort by females. So I literally had to take a screenshot from the numbers mod to figure out who were the women, and then sort of come in here. If there's too many to remember all these names, I'm going to be bad with it. Anyway, that is everyone. They're all armed up. We've grabbed some packet survival meal, some medicine, and that's it. We're not even bringing bedrolls. This is not that type of mission. We want to get in there, get what we want done, and get out. It's 0.4 days, so we're going straight there, we're coming straight back. There is no lollygagging about. Let's uh, let's get everyone loaded up. You should hopefully only take a minute to get sorted, and then they should be out the door. Oh, Randy, your timing is impeccable. It's a cold snap. So, um, yeah, all our cops die now. We can't... All, everyone's working at 50% speed, so we're going to try and get some roofs down, but... I really don't think we have much chance of getting that done, just with the, everyone moving so slowly and a whole bunch of our people who have to leave immediately. I'm going to try and micro this and hopefully save at least maybe this patch, but yeah, I'm not going to hold out too much hope. I had to do a lot of horrible things to our scheduling. Well, not our scheduling, our, uh, our workflow, which it's going to be painful to reverse all of those changes because I've got to remember them all. But we should hopefully get most of these roofed and maybe even save some of the crops, which would be nice considering the volcanic winter has sort of eaten into our food supply. We're down to only 4,418 potatoes. We might just have to start buying food from people like, I, I don't know, what, what are people like that? You know, savages or something? It, it feels weird. Our uh, caravan is out on the road. It's heading over towards the psychic suppressor. If we can take care of that problem. Oh, God, I hope it's not that bad. It, please don't be that bad. If we could just sneak in the back door and take care of it easy peasy, that would be great. If we get into a firefight, that is going to suck. Time to approach the psychic suppressor. This, uh, yeah, this, hopefully this doesn't end badly. And I'd also forgotten to open the door of our kill box. That could have ended badly. If enemy showed up and our kill box wasn't open, they might have decided to, you know, attack random walls. You don't want that. You want them always heading towards the kill box. Okay, okay, okay. Please let this fight not be horrible. Please let this fight not be horrible. Pitter plant out because of the cold. Yeah. We managed to seal in this area, this area, and this area. So all of them, this one's at uh, minus two, this one's at eight, and this one's at one. So as long as they don't go to minus ten, we're fine. And, oh, come on, just, uh, we need to have this marble column built and the rest of that roof built in. And that should keep the, those three areas alive. This one we can lose. It's too small that I wasn't bothered prioritizing it. And this one, well, we were going to build a wall in time. So we just harvested what we could. The rest, unfortunately, will be lost. Whew. All right. Major break risk. Ransom the blind. Oh, generating map for new encounter. That's um, wonderful. Uh, caravan arrived at Sikapri. Who's got a major break risk? Ransom, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, they're all like... They're all moving so slowly, it's taking them forever to get anywhere, which means it's slowing down everything. Oh, and their lover also died. Well, sorry about that. Ortec, do you have a full charge? Uh, no, you do not. We'll, we'll, we'll charge them up. All right, let's go check out the map. Let's see what Randy's got in store for us today. Ooh, that doesn't look... It doesn't look the worst. I think... I think Randy's being kind. I don't know, it's confusing, but... I, I think we could just come in the back of here, kill the suppressor, and then just leave. We don't even have to get into a fight. There's, what, two turrets? Well, well, actually, there is there is a bunch of stuff here I'd rather not fight, like those scythers, getting a uh, scyther, a lancer, and some pikemen and stuff. 
Let's throw that down. Now, if we claim that door, will they care? No, they do not. Perfect. Uh, get in there. Okay, guys, spread out a bit. I mean, girls. Sorry, this is a ladies' night out. Yeah, this is what a ladies' night out is on the rim. Eric, we brought you along with a... Oh, we brought one person along with a sniper rifle just in case. I wanted to have a, a few options. But this turned out to be... Well, okay, I don't want to say anything just yet. We've grabbed all the loot. Time to scoot. Uh, there is mech shield here. Oh, we could kill them for the mech shield, but you know what? No. Nope, 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 nope. There's a bunch of components and stuff we have to steal. We have a whole bunch of other missions ongoing. This is done. We're out of here. We're going to call this a success. And we're going to go back and take care of the 14 or so centipedes that we've got back at home. Time for our next recruit. This is recruit number 32. Please welcome John Mitchell. Well, there should be an extra L there, but yeah, character limit. So, John here will be... Ooh, artistic cooking. Hmm... I think we'll go with cooking combined with artistic, they are sanguine. The great thing about sanguine people is, oh, and their leg is gone. Well, do we actually have a spare one? No, we... Okay, fine, you can have a peg leg for now. I made a bunch of spare legs, but unfortunately we've already burned through the supply. They were uh, just regular legs. I'm thinking, careful shooter and sanguine? Mm, yeah, okay, cooking it is with a side in... Actually, that's all going to be it. We only need one artist so far, so cooking is going to be their only thing, and then we'll put them into shooting, cleaning, and the normal. What I like to do is, on everyone's work schedule, I have a few people who are lined up to do stone cutting. They just have a little bit of a priority for it, and a bunch who have a priority for refining. I think this person... John here, they're going to have a, a priority for smelting so we can start getting rid of all those steel chunks that are accumulating. I swear, it's just five seconds later, it's it's the next one up. <laughs> Our recruitment drives are going really well at the moment. I think everyone's starting to hit uh, break points. All right, so next up, what is it? 33? Okay, please welcome Joey, our uh, 33rd patron uh, pawn. Uh, construction, level 11. This is the best constructor I think we've found so far. They don't have a burning passion for it, but a level 11? Yeah, straight into construction. Secondary in mining, nothing in crafting or social. We're just going to have them a dedicated constructor with mining only as a backup. Also, a trigger-happy, beautiful cannibal. Oh, that sounds like the start of a TV show. Can't do intellectual or cooking. No health conditions bar a missing right toe. That's fine. Get to work. Get to work, please. Well, Ransom's gone a little bit nuts. Uh, their lover died a while back, so they're still a little bit irritable about it. As well as that a prisoner accidentally died. Uh, turns out it got a little bit cold in there and... Um, I didn't notice. They don't warn you when they're getting hypothermia. So we've moved all the prisoners into one room, and we've given them a fireplace, so they probably won't die. Though, hmm, we may have to move them back. We're running dangerously low on food. I think it's time we set up a caravan and went and nicked food from every single nearby colony we can find. The cold snap, thankfully, has ended, but that still leaves us in a really awkward position. Hmm, the problem we face is just, we're down to this much potatoes. We're still in the middle of a volcanic winter that could last about another 20 days which means growth rates are going to be slowed. So we can remove this covering, but we can remove the roofs, but we could get anything that could happen now. We get a toxic fog, and then, of course, all our plants will have to be covered up again, and they'll probably die during that. We can't keep them up. But, mm, what I need to do is we need to get onto... We need to get enough steel and enough components that we can turn this all into hydroponics and power it all with chem fuel. Uh, the reason we want the hydroponics is the rice will grow faster in it, giving us more return for our investment of power. It's just more power efficient to do it that way. Well, it is with chem fuel. If you were actually just paying the power costs for just the light, a greenhouse works better, but that won't really work for us because we'd we'd have to still pay the power costs at night. Uh, never mind, it gets confusing. Let's just say we need in the next, ooh, well, by the end of the next year, we need to have seven more pawns. So six, 12, 180, by day 180. So we have 30 days or 29 days, we need to hire seven more pawns, which, should be doable. I think we got that down. We, we got plenty of them there near near breaking point or broken already. So seven pawns by the in the next 29 days. Then we need to source ourselves lots of steel, which I think I think we get enough slag chunks to get ourselves more than enough steel to start on our hydroponics. And we need to claim a whole bunch of components, which there's a couple of component seams out there, which we can grab in the next six days unless anything crazy happens. So we should be able to nail components as well. And then we can finally start we're not actually at stable point yet. There's a lot of things that could still hurt us an awful lot, or even, well, not quite wipe us out, but come close. But I am out of time, unfortunately. I didn't get enough done today. It was just, 
yeah, there was too much thinking and planning and humming and hawing. But we do have a combat supplier coming up, so let's just see what they've got before we head on for the day. All right, you know, you know when they start tempting you with stuff? This is tempting me. Look, their animals are going this direction. They're going this direction. Their animals are... Come on! Come oh. I mean, if we trigger them, we then have to kill them immediately. Otherwise, the flames... How, how many of them have we got? Yeah, there, there's like two Inferno cannons there. They'd set fire to everything. But, God, that is so tempting. Prestige Marine Helmet. Nothing eh, too crazy there. Oh, a Zeus Hammer, a Monosword. A masterwork Charge Lance? Come on. Stop. Mm. No, 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 no. We can't We can't deal with that right now. We have literally stripped mine the entire... Oh, wildlife has come back. We killed all the wildlife on the map. The rest of it seems to have be hiding behind these guys. And, mm, yeah, we're running, we're running out of... We've run out of fine meals and we're down to just simple meals. We're in a little bit of a precarious situation. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna need time to think and come up with a plan. Unfortunately, our traders are a little bit weak on stuff we want right now. Like, you know, lots and lots of doomsday rockets and things like that. But... We can pick up a little bit of medicine and a prestige marine helmet. The marine helmet will go towards one of our wizards. I'm afraid our newest recruit, Joey, has had a bit of a mental breakdown. We uh, tried to arrest him with a 98% chance and it failed. So I'm afraid we're going to have to give them a little bit of a beatdown. Sorry, Joey. I hope you survive the, the very start of the game. It's kind of annoying when you just get into the game and all of a sudden you have to get ganged up on by three. No, guys, don't, don't, don't shoot him. That would be, that would be bad. In fact... Let's make sure we take them down pretty quick before someone else decides to shoot them. Come on, and there you go. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, yep, you're gonna. Come on. Perfect. Oh god, just. Did you hear a drill? I heard a zing. Yeah, drill arm. I did not know I made that noise when I did it. And they lost a couple of toes, but everything else is fine. Everything else is fine-ish. Anyway, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's festivities. I think uh, next up we're going to do an awful lot more recruiting. Well, no, we're going to stabilize it at, uh, at 40 pawns, and then we're going to get our food sorted before we do any more recruiting. This is, uh, this feels highly unstable. Anyway, good luck. Thank you.